Morning guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of new features in SOLIDWORKS, um, the loft and the sweep feature. And just going to do the video uh, in a little bit of a different format. I'm going to pick a model that I've previously made and we're going to use the feature tree uh, and have a look at how it was created because there's a little bit more involved with these features, but not a lot. I'd still classify it as a basic tutorial. All right, let's jump in. So here we have the part um, that I've previously created and it looks quite nice. Um, it's typical of uh, like a blow molded um, sort of product with a uniform wall thickness. So it looks quite nice. Um, just going to turn the perspective off a minute so it makes it easier to see. Okay, let's come out here. I'm just going to use the feature tree and talk you through how <laughs> I, um, this part was created. So this is the first feature and the first thing to note is um, loft as a feature requires uh, two profiles and uh, then it's up to you if you um, use guide curves to uh, loft the profiles um, and then sweep is one profile and a guide curve so that's the main difference um, and then what we'll do is if we roll it back And we'll take a look at how it was created. So here we've got two sketches, so two profiles. We've got the base, which is a rectangle, and the top, which is a circle. And then these guide curves on either side that gives it its shape. So let's have a look then. So the first sketch that I did to create this was a nice and simple rectangle. If you want to do this at home, create a rectangle 120 by 45 and put some 10 mil radius fillets on the corners then created a plane that as you can see is 150 mil off the bottom plane which in my model was the top plane and then on that uh, on that plane created a sketch that was a 30 mil diameter circle coincident with the origin oh. now we'll take a look at the guide curves and the there's a new sketch tool we used I used here so we've got a vertical line of 60 mil 65 mil length sorry and we've got a spline here so if you haven't used splines before they're really nice um, for creating smooth transitions geometry and um, notice my spline is black it's fully defined but there's uh, basically two parts to a spline that you need to define it so you've got this which is kind of like the um, almost like the distance or the power of the spline so for a bit from the base point on this arrow here and then the angle um, which I think I've done off of the the plane at the top here and given it an angle and this one here you notice it hasn't got an angle but I made it parallel to this line down here so that's one guide curve and the other guide curve same principle just this line shorter and I made the angles a bit different and the power is a little bit different so that gives us that gives us that shape and just to go through you know the process of creating it when you see the loft command manager if you're using the bottom profile is the rectangle the top profile as the circle and then come down here and select the two guide curves and it's worth noting that when you do your loft just make sure that 
these connectors are in line to give you a nice smooth transition. And then we'll take a look at the sweep now. And the sweep, as I said earlier, is one profile and a path. So the profile in this instance is a slot. I think we've used the slot feature before, it's up here. It's a nice tool, it, it automatically creates the radius edges of a rectangle, so it just saves you a bit of a job. And um, yeah, 10 mil high, 12.5 wide. I actually think I created this sketch first because the slot was coincident to it. So what I did for this was took the outer profile of the uh, loft and then I made an, a circle or an arc that was tangent to that line, made it construction and offset it because I wanted it to come inside this base profile. And there we have it. And then quite simply, we just put a couple of fillets. I think it's a three mil fillet. Yeah, three mil fillet on the bottom and top of the handle. What was the other one? Oh yeah. And then a full, uh, not a full round, a face fillet on the bottom here, which is eight mil. And there we have it, and a shell, which um, basically hollows out the product, or the part, sorry, the model. And that is 2mm, and that makes it hollow. And there we have it. So if you have any questions um, about this, please uh, comment. If you like the video, like, uh, hit the like and subscribe button. Um, yeah, let me know if you plan to give the loft or the sweep a go. Um, don't be put off. It's, you know, when you look at the loft, there is obviously more um, construction geometry needed. There's more sketch entities needed than your standard extrude that you can, you know, you can create an extrude of one sketch. Um, it's just about being methodical, really, you know, understanding that you you loft between two profiles and then your guide curves define the sort of outer boundary, the shape uh, in which the loft is created between those profiles. It's just an understanding. It took me a while to get my head around it, but you know, just have a play. Um, and yeah, I'd be interested to hear um, what you think and if you get on with it or if you're struggling with it, you know, drop, drop us a comment and um, ask us some questions and we'll be more than happy to, uh, help. Alright guys, have a nice day. Thanks, bye.